welcome to all uh, today we will learn about a advanced permissions so here we will learn how we can give a more advanced permission here so we'll discuss about a set f acl acl means access control list set access con set file access control list and guess get file access control list so you have seen i have did here get f acl slash time and we are getting a details here in more details more clarity more clarity is there more details so uh, we have uh, learned yesterday lecture uh, where we have given a sticky bit t means sticky bit uh, but uh, if a sticky bit sticky bit but if you see using a ls hyphen l d i'm getting a very uh, less uh, less information here about a permissions but when we are using a get facl we are getting a more permissions okay so now here already we know we we you we called as a user okay so here here so now here uh, so applied set fsl permission for it as let's say if we want to apply a set fsl we are using it hyphen m for a modification and if i f hyphen x is using for a remove and uh, here we are using a user group for g o for a other read write execute so already we had used earlier so same we will continue here here so now uh, uh earlier lectures we have given a permission uh, using a ch mode right but what you want right now suppose uh, let me create a one directory here let me produce one example here file uh, let me create a one file using a root user i'm creating a file and i mentioned here root so it's easy to recognize here so i'm typing here any content in the control d okay so now uh, you can uh, let me here okay so welcome so what right now what you want you want uh, let me make a, a ch mode and let me change a permission and i want to restrict only root user okay so i don't want to give even given for a any group also but i want to give someone only okay for a uh, one user only not for any group not for others here okay so so here uh, let me log in as a another window okay so this is a one more window let's uh, i have opened here so now let me log in with a, any other user. Let's say, let's uh, see the users here. So I have a, we don't have any users here. So let me create a user here. So I'm creating a, a user with the user, user ID. Let me create a user one. Okay, so let me set the password for user one. Okay. Now let me log in with a user one here. Okay, so I have login here and I went inside CD TAM directory. And here I have seen the directory, uh, the file is a file underscore. So here I have given a 700, that's a wrong because it is a file. Let me make a correct myself, 600 because it is a file, it's a normal file. And uh, now we can see the permissions here. here so now uh any uh, group and others we don't have a permission here now let me uh, uh, let's check here also ls hyphen lrt now let me read this file here so it's coming me a permission denied here okay now what you want you want to give the access for this user one only this user one only okay this user one only how we can give it set facl hyphen a modify 
user i want to give a user which user user one what you want to give a user one so just let's suppose you want to give a read permissions only okay and file name okay so just i have given a here and if you see ls hyphen l in file name so you can see the difference came here if you see the difference here plus sign came here earlier it was not so when you will see set f acl plus symbol it means okay so here uh, the plus sign is uh, it was not hurry uh, it was not earlier and when we have applied a set facl command hyphen m means modify so u means user and we have given a username here user name and we have given only read permissions here okay so so now let's let's check it here is it really it is applied or not so just let me uh, let's uh, let me see here cat now i am able to read it here okay so let's check in a uh, details more here and uh, let me use a get f acl in the file name now you can see here here you will see here coming as a here you will see r came here if you see the changing r came here that is a changing came here r plus sign came here and you will see here user added here user added here and mask value came here mask value came here okay when i have added a read now i am able to read a user one here so here who is the owner root is the owner owner who is the owner of this file owner of this file is a root and a group but group we don't have given any permission it's a nil so we have given a one more user here okay so now let's see we have we, uh, uh, i have a read permission can can i delete this file here rm rf and file root no i can't delete this file okay and let's say let me uh, add some content inside in, in this file here so let's see i want to add here uh, so warning here see i came here but uh, you can see sir voice chali gayi hello yeah so now you can see here the it is came as a read only here so here you can see read only is came here okay so now i can't do because it having a read only permissions so now let me close it okay so uh, so let me given a uh, write permissions here so let me clear and uh, how can i give a write permission so i and i don't need to use just i can give a write permission here so i have a given a write permission let's check in get f acl and file root so now you can see w came here it's override the permissions here okay there is no read permission so this uh, permit this permission is a invalid permissions okay so at least i need a read and write so let me use a r read and write for this file now let's check it now read and write uh, read and write permissions we have here and now i uh, let me read this content i am able to read and let me write the content here so i will write the content using a cat double greater than and let me write here, here hello all a control d now i can see i am able to and let's let me try is it i am able to delete this file or not dot permission not permitted why i am not able to delete the reason is behind yesterday we have learned actually sticky bit is applied on slash temp so how we can check it get official slash temp so why i am not able to delete this file even i i have access also but right why because sticky bit is applied sticky bit applied okay so that was the reason i am not able to do here and you can apply it for a uh, set facl for a group also let's say let me create a one user add 
and let me create a H, sorry group i'm creating a group so let me create a group add and hr group okay so i have created hr group here so if i want to given a permission here for a group how i can give it set f acl hyphen m means modify g means group same things here now which group you want hr group what permission you want to read write let's say i want to give an a execute also and uh, uh, right now uh, let's say we, we have any files here because i have deleted here on uh, okay not deleted say here sorry so let's say file underscore root okay so now get f acl and let's check here so now you can see it is applied for a group also now the user who is related with a hr group who is belongs to those user that belongs to hr group having a read write execute permission here now you can see read and write and execute for a group so set f acl is applied only user and group only okay for it is using for user and group if you try to apply it for a other yes other we can do read write execute but if I did a set f a c l hyphen m modify and like this is a file hyphen underscore root, it is the command if I use a ch mode and o plus read write execute and same file name. So it is an equivalent. So it is so originally it is the set f a c l is applied for user and groups only. Okay. So let me clear. So let's suppose uh, I have a right now the file here, file uh, two, and uh, we have seen here get f ACL file two. So you, here you are able to see these ACL we have applied here. Mask is there, okay? So I hope now you got the meaning of a mask why we are using. So it is a represent you have given this uh, uh, group or uh, user or group permission. That was the reason it's coming here. And if it is a nil then it means it is a there also it will not then it will not effective okay so like that we have a, did a practical be the ch mode command also it reset it so now suppose uh, i have a this acl applied and you want to create a new file with a touch file three file let me create a file three and you can see get a f acl file three uh, we don't have any ACL here, but if you want to same copy ACL for file two to file three, yes, we can do it. So how we can do it, get F ACL, we need to use a set F ACL and hyphen hyphen set file. We need to use these argument, the hyphen 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 set hyphen file is equal to hyphen is equal to and the file name okay so we are copying for a file to right file to and uh, uh, we want same permission for a file three okay so we want same permission for a file three here okay so now so let me check it get f acl now we can check it file three here so now you can see same applied here so if you can see here uh, file two so you can see same acl list have came here if you want to revoke all and if you see the this uh, suppose if we forget this here so you see you can use set f acl hyphen hyphen help so hyphen hyphen help you can see set hyphen file read acl to set from a file okay so we can use this argument and uh, hyphen b remove all if i want to uh, remove all and if i want to uh, modification or removes user only so let's learn one by one okay so here let's learn about a hyphen x here so now 
set a, a FACL now, let's say get FACL and uh, file three. And just I want to remove group here. So how can I remove here? I need to use a here hyphen X argument to remove. Earlier we learned about a modify and uh, you want to remove for a HR group, let's say, okay. And uh, file name a file name okay now it's removed here now let's check it here so now you can see here so it's removed here okay so now here a uh, group has been removed here and uh, if you want to remove user you need to use a set of acl uh, hyphen x user and username want to remove let's say user one is there and you can add multiple users it's not for one user if you want to add user to user three it's up to you and let me remove from a file three okay so now you can see it's removed here but still mask is there it's not removed you need to reset it here okay so if you see uh, ls hyphen l and uh, uh, file three you can see the plus sign is there but here we have removed here nothing is here just ma mask is there that was the reason it's showing here so if you want to reset whole then what we need to do here so you can use a set f a c l hyphen hyphen help so you remove the default a c l here remove all extended ACL. It will remove all extended. We have like a hyphen X, we did it. And if I want to make a default, I need to use a hyphen K. So let me use a hyphen K here. Okay, so let me use a hyphen K. And now get F A C L file three. So you can see a mask is, let me use a B. Okay, so is it, yeah, here it's deleted here. Now we don't have a, if I make it a, no, it's came as a default here. So now you can see it's removed here. Okay, so we have a get FS, FC, FACL uh, file two, and uh, I want to revoke all, and uh, let me use set FACL hyphen B and file, file two okay now check it it's removed all removed and if you see ls hyphen l file two so nothing is there now no acl is applied here so already i have prepared this talk here so uh, here already i have mentioned here remove the default ACL if, if any ACL is applied and remove all extended ACL and the base ACL entries for the honor group and others are retained. Okay, others are retained here.